What's the integral going from 0 to infinity of sin x dx versus the integral going from 0 to infinity of absolute value of sin x dx? I'll give you guys 5 seconds, 5, 2, 2, 1. The first one right here actually doesn't exist. And then for the second one, the answer is actually equal to infinity y. Check this out. If you graph sin x, well, the sine function looks like this. And remember, for integrals, we are pretty much looking at the area, right? But this part is above the x-axis, and in fact, this area is equal to 2. But this part is below the x-axis, x axis. they are the same size, but the integral right here is considered to be negative 2. And likewise, 2, negative 2, 2, negative 2. So, like, if you just kind of try to calculate the, the area, or like the integral from 0 to infinity, you get 2. And then once you get to here, it's 0, and then you get 2 again, and you get 0. So you do not have a limit for that. And then for this one, what well, if you have the absolute value of sin x? Well, you just kick the negative part out, so you have this right here, and then this right here, and then this right here. And in fact, you have infinitely many 2s, because now this is positive as well. So you will just have infinity when you add them up. That's it.